I can't tell you the number of times women have come to my clinic to tell me that they're worried about how they smell, the kind of discharge they have, and all sorts of issues. Today, I'm gonna to break it down to five easy things that all women should know that can help them stay hygienic and also help them not spend money on useless products over the counter. Number one is you don't need to wash your vagina. Now, before you start changing the channel, hear me out. The vagina and the vulva are two different things. If you don't understand female anatomy, make sure you check out my video on female anatomy. But basically, the vulva is essentially the vagina plus all the things on the outside of the vagina, including the urethra, throughout the clitoris and the labia or the lips of the vagina. The vagina itself, the inside, does not need to be cleaned. The vagina is like a self-cleaning oven. So you shouldn't be using any douches, scented tampons, anything that goes in the vagina that is fragrant or meant to smell, you shouldn't be using down there. And you definitely don't need any soap in there. So what you can do is wash the hair-bearing air areas with water and a mild soap if you like. You can use a gentle washcloth, but try not to use a loofah or anything too aggressive because that can cause Cause a lot of irritation. Also, you don't need to overwash it. A lot of women come and tell me they wash their vulva right after sex or every time they think they have a UTI, they're taking so many showers and actually all that washing can dry out the skin and create more irritation and even cause symptoms that feel like a urinary tract infection. You want to make sure you get in the folds of the vagina as well and clean in there as well as the clitoral hood. If you have a long clitoral hood that's kind of going over the clitoris, make sure you gently pull it back and clean under there because just like men get smegma, which is like a whitish material that accumulates under foreskin, women can also get smegma under the clitoral hood, which can cause discomfort and pain for some women. Number two, you don't need to smell like a fruit, okay? There's a lot of marketing out there to buy things that are like key lime scented or peach scented. And that's actually not what you're supposed to smell like. If you miss the whole vabbing TikTok trend, there's actually pheromones that your vagina secretes that are actually detected by men in some way attract them during sexual activity. So those smells that you're making um, are actually made for a purpose. Normal vaginas are not odorless. And everyone's smell is a little different. Someone smell a little coppery, someone smell a little sweet, and that can vary also depending on what you're eating, what time of the menstrual cycle it is, and the level of hormones you have, all sorts of different things. You should see a doctor, however, if you're seeing blood in the discharge that's not normal, so not during your normal menses, if you're having really strong or pungent odors that are abnormal that don't go away, or if you're having any pain associated with that discharge. In fact, a lot of women don't realize this, but it's really normal to have vaginal discharge. Some people have more, some people have less. In fact, daily women have one and a half to one teaspoon of discharge every single day. So that's not a small amount. Number three, be careful of the products you use in your vagina. The reason being is the vagina is a very protected environment. It has a very specific pH, which needs to be between 3.5 and 4.5. And that's to protect itself from recurrent infections and recurrent urinary tract infection. And most of these hygiene products that are marketed to women have a pH of higher than eight. So that can totally destroy the normal flora in your vagina and predispose you to either symptoms of discomfort like dryness or itching and or get getting recurrent bacterial vaginosis infections or recurrent urinary tract infections. And I know I mentioned douching before, but douching is actually dangerous. There have been studies that have shown that douching is associated with going into preterm labor and other pelvic inflammatory diseases, and particularly during pregnancy can put you at higher risk for a number of issues like ectopic pregnancies, low birth weight, even infection of the membrane surrounding the baby. Number four, wear cotton underwear. So cotton is super breathable. It doesn't allow sweat and other fluids to build up and cause discomfort. When you're using kind of nylon and lacy fabrics, those can cause irritation. And also because of buildup of just natural body fluids, like I talked about, can cause you know, can compound that irritation and make it more uncomfortable. So if you want to wear sexy underwear, save it for sexy time and the other times wear cotton underwear. Also, when you're washing your underwear, make sure you use a mild detergent, one that is ideally not fragranced in any way, especially if you have sensitive skin. 
And number five, make sure that when you get your clothes wet or you go swimming, you change out of wet clothes immediately because having those wet clothes on your body can lead to significant irritation, particularly in the sensitive area of the vulva. All right, I hope that helps you guys. Please comment below. Let me know what else you wanna learn about. As always, we're gonna take care of yourself because you're worth it.